Welcome to Basics with the Petersons. I'm Tim and this is Trish and we're here on a beautiful Saturday morning in between rains to talk about something that is just so exciting. Garbage. Garbage is the topic for the day. One of the things that um, we like to do is save money and be efficient. And when we moved to this um, piece of rural living in Western Oregon, um, like any place that you move, gar garbage is an issue. Um, and so we have a rental, which we've told you about, and we have the main living. And so the garbage situation was this. Um, for $55 a month, we would get a 95 gallon, gallon can, can yep. and then a recycle can. And then um, the garbage- Recycle for, car, uh, cardboard, for cardboard and, no, cardboard and, and, um, and glass is what um, they would recycle. The two, two items, Those yeah. two items, yes. And um, the garbage would be picked up every Wednesday, the main 95 gallon garbage can but then twice a month they would recycle, do the recycle, yeah. um, do the recycle one. So that meant <clears throat> every week we end up, we, we have um, probably, I don't know, a 150 yard uh, driveway. We ended up taking our cans from the top of our house all the way down, back up. Um, Wednesday <laughs> morning, a, Wednesday because morning, they come at like 5.30. Twice a so, month, yeah. we mm -hmm. take both ca uh, cans down. <clears throat> every so, other week. Every mm -hmm. other week. So. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, there was some, you know, time and, and actually really at our age, remembrance in that whole process to make sure things got yes. uh, where they were supposed to be. The other issue also was because recycling is pretty, um, pretty controlled, I would say. Um, if one thing got put in the recycle that like you shouldn't, and we have renters, so if a pizza box got put in there or, or egg cartons. Or the wrong color glass yes. or, or in anything like that. Yes, so if, if they saw one item that shouldn't be in that recycle can, in that recycle can, then they wouldn't dump it at all. They would put a sticky note on it, um, checking what was in there that was, shouldn't have been in there. And then you had an, a full recycle container again for, for two, two weeks. weeks. Yes. For two weeks. And again, it was $55 a month to do garbage. And um, every once in a while we would forget. So we'd be like running down at five in the morning to take the cans down and, or we'd get a couple weeks, a couple times in a row of the recycle issue if we didn't go through the recycle before we took it down. I, I will say too, um, in our county, in the state of Oregon, we are, the, I think, I believe the most expensive garbage collection county in the state. So, um, and it keeps going up. Yeah, it keeps going mm -hmm. up. Matter of fact, uh, we're at the beginning of January. It went up again at the beginning of this year. So, um, so what we, in this process, we decided to try an alternative. There's gotta be something different. Yeah, something that was less expensive. Now it does increase our labor to a, a little bit, to a certain extent. Um, but what we've gone to, as you can see behind us, um, IBC totes is what we've done. So in this video today, we're going to kind of show you exactly how we got it set up, um, some of the ways we manage it, because there are some things that we put into place that's pretty easy, um, and it makes sure that it runs really, really well. And then we're going to tell you all about how we're saving like substantial of yeah. amount of money, especially over a year, which is crazy. Um, yes. And and it's something that we put in that was really it's pretty easy, and even our renters get used to the process. And I, I don't know, it's something that we've been able to put in, and we want to share it with you um, for some good practices or some ideas, and you can make your system work however you you, fits you need your it to work. Now. Because this, this yeah. is this is what what we've come up with here, um, and. Um, it's been very convenient, very simple. Okay, let me first go over um, kind of how uh, I set up the IBC totes here. These are 270 gallon um, IBC totes. You can buy them in 270 or 330. Uh, we went with the 270 because the 330 are a little bit taller. Basically, I went and took a Sawzall. Um, I've got a DeWalt battery operated. Um, I ended up cutting. We're opening. I first ended up pulling out one side of the two. There's two. Um, post that hold the IBC tote up uh, when they're being used. Um, I end up removing one, the front one. Uh, now this is the closest side to the, the spout that, that opens and closes it at the bottom. And the reason I do that is I'm on, I place the IBC totes on a slight slant. So um, I don't have a, a lid that seals and rain does get in here. And I leave those, those um, the openings open so it allows them to drain and accumulate down at the bottom and drain out. So it, it actually, it's not dry, but it is much drier than what it could be. But I removed that, <clears throat> the top front uh, shaft here, and then I made a, a cut an opening uh, lengthwise here is 31 inches by 
25 inches. And I found that that was about the right size to fit our garbage sacks that, that uh, we use to go in and, and most everybody can get them in fairly simple and easy. On top of that, for lids, you can see this is a fairly, really thin. I tried to go as thin uh, plywood as possible. I did paint it. You can stain it, you can put linseed oil on it, whatever you want to, to give it some resistance to the weather. Uh, the knob on it, basically, I just went, and these are from Home Depot, I went and got uh, just a knob from uh, in their um, furniture section that goes on furniture. I just picked the cheapest one. Um, I went and took it. I did put, uh, screwed it in the back, and then I've got a couple um, pieces of plywood or something to give it some surface area so it doesn't pull water, does penetrate to a certain extent. So that's what, it, that's what I did on the bottom. But I made these just <clears throat> a little bit bigger than the, um, than the, uh, opening um, so this is 36 and a half by um, two feet 24 inches so <clears throat> and it is it's light for the, the, the individuals to lift it um, and then it just fits over the top it actually shields out probably I don't know 80 percent of the rain and so forth so that's what <clears throat> I've done and then um, what I do is I take the tractor with the forks hook into it lift it up and, and we'll show you kind of you'll get to see it, the loading process here in a minute but basically I put two IBC totes in the back of the pickup and two on a four by eight trailer that I have. Um, so as you kind of see here, we usually have three garbage totes. And then up here we have one, um, one cardboard tote. We don't recycle anything else besides um, cardboard. It's the only thing we do, we don't do glass or anything else. Uh, we, ha we do have a, a container inside that we collect plastic bottles. In the state of Oregon, plastic bottles are worth 10 cents a piece. So, it doesn't take very many bottles to um, add up and actually our son is doing it as a fundraiser for his dorm at, at uh, a local private university so um, so that's why we keep those but they go into the recycle as well um, but also i will say the, the um, this cage for the ibc totes uh, does a very good job of collecting the garb or the cardboard but also i use it um, i try and maximize our trip to the the dump so we'll end up having probably possibly two maybe three big black plastic bags that, that uh, we'll talk about go on top of this. Um, now, one thing I will say, <clears throat> it's, it's a big issue in the state of Oregon, and, which is, is uh, wise, is that everything is tied down, tarped, uh, any loads that you end up taking on the highway or, or move around. Um, I'll show you how I do that, but basically these frames strap down very, very easy. And then over the openings to the um, garbage IBC totes here, we have everything in plastic bags, so it's not really an issue anyway, but I end up hooking a uh, bungee strap I take two bungee straps and put it across the opening here so that if there is something that might blow out that those bungee straps um, keep it inside the IBC totes but um, and, uh, but I'll put any excess anything added that I needed to take to the dump I have like shop stuff like today I'll put a, uh, we have a barbecue that we had to replace because I had rebuilt it a couple times it was totally rusted out um, that will go probably on top of here I'll put it in with us as, as well as some plastic bags and that type of thing. So um, very versatile. One thing that we learned a very quickly early on in this whole garbage adventure is that you kind of have to make a plan about the garbage. Um, we learned quickly that you just can't use like a Walmart or a cheap inexpensive bag, tie it up and throw it in. It's going to degrade, it's going to get a hole in it, things are gonna punch through. And then when you go to dump the garbage, it's gonna be a major mess. So we learned early on that like in our, in, inside the house, all of our garbage receptors are like the tall garbage bags. Okay, so we have those and we use those. Those are great, but these even will break down um, and it's not as efficient too. Um, we wanted to use the space wisely. So outside of the main house and outside of the rent, we went to Home Depot and we bought the largest garbage cans that would fit um, a 42 gallon garbage liner and we have found that these husky contractor cleanup bags um, they're super tough and they're super strong they are the best to line those outside containers so we have a container at each of the livings um, it will fit two to three of these um, the, the smaller size in your homes it will fit inside the large bag so what we've really encouraged and, and we ask um, the renters to do is they have their inside garbage, um, about two or three bags will fit into their large bag, and then they tie it at that point, and then it comes out to the garbage. Now, we did realize that we need to, since we're asking this, um, we do provide. So um, we provide for the renters 
our kitchen bags from Costco and our larger ones for our outside garbage collection. So this helps it make really efficient and it's not a mess inside our IBC totes. Our IBC totes are really quite clean because all it is are the major black garbage bags inside there and they hold together, they don't degrade, and you can easily grab them by the knot and um, take them out when we need to dispose of them. What we have here as far as hauling it to the, the uh, transfer station or the dump station is that I've got the Chevy pickup. Um, it's about a five and a half foot um, bed in the back. I have found that these IBC totes here, um, they're kind of they're rectangle, they're not square. So what I end up doing is putting the long side in, making the short side um, the one that goes to the extent of the bed. That that's the way I can put two in there very easily, uh, and it sits in there. And then I hook up and put my four by eight um, trailer behind the pickup, and that surface area actually there's more surface area, so I can turn it either way I want to. But the pickup is, is a little bit shorter than what, what I have on the trailer. And then, as you can see, I, I have forks, put it on the, the tractor, and just so let's get loading. So we're all loaded and ready to go. Um, I timed Tim, it took us 16 minutes to get this all loaded. Loaded, strapped down, and the whole nine yards. So um, also, I, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that um, we, we, when we take our um, household garbage to the dump, I also have extra stuff around this property that I constantly am cleaning up, and then, and then I would end up making a trip to the dump anyway. So really, this is almost piggybacked together. Um, most, about 90% of what you see here is household garbage. But like I do have a barbecue, I've got some other stuff stuffed in the front of the, the pickup that uh, are going to go to the garbage that are as far as, as, far as cleaning up and keeping the uh, property clean. So we promised we were going to talk about super saver way. So just to break it down, um, if we were to continue with our usual garbage service through our local um, county, it would be costing us again, like we said, $55 a month for 95 gallon um, Gar container. garbage container with, with recycle, recycle yeah. so you take that over a year and our cost would be right at 660 so 660 dollars for the year for garbage okay so to our local transfer station um, for a 25 dollar minimum charge we can have up to 460 pounds of garbage and we don't and we, ever yeah i, I as a matter of oh. fact I, I think there might have been once or twice that i've exceeded that and that usually is because i have some extra stuff that I'm um, hauling from the property that, that uh, adds quite a bit of weight to the, the, the trip that I make. Um, most of the time it's below four, 400 pounds. Uh, so it will run us basically $25 every time as far as household garbage goes um, to the transfer station. Essentially we have six people here at all times. So we're producing garbage for a minimum of six. And we it takes about three months to fill this up. So now yeah, two and a half to three months. Three is months. What it takes. So we go roughly four times a year. So doing our math at twenty-five dollars every time, we spend a hundred dollars a year in garbage. Now the setup did cost a little bit. Remember each of the IBC totes. Um, I think I paid roughly for uh, the cages by themselves. That used to be twenty-five dollars, and I end up having four cages that I use for other things along with this. Um, the totes themselves were um, not potable water, so they were less expensive. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it was close to 60 or $70 for each one of those totes. So um, you, you multiply $60 by three and then tw add $25 to, to that. So you, you're, you're looking at um, 180 plus 25. So it really to get the setup um, was not real expensive and it pays off. Matter of fact, in a year we'll have it paid off. And we, we already have it paid off, so. 
Yes. So anyway, this is our this is our alternative to garbage. It does take a little bit of time. It's a fun Saturday date for us. So about every three months, we schedule a time. We're going to go to the transfer station on Saturday morning, and we load everything up and we take care of garbage. But it is a great way to save money in rural living, and that's what all of us are looking for. It does take a little bit of our time and effort, but it's quality time that we've spent bonding together. So hope that you have learned a lot from our video. If, if if you have any questions please uh, put it in the comments um, we'll, we'll read as many of them get back to you as quickly as possible um, but we really appreciate you coming along with us on this journey uh, in rural living thanks for joining us today on our garbage run day uh, we we want you to like subscribe uh, put some comments down below uh, and, and join us next time with basics with the Petersons here um, thanks for joining us see ya Bye.